All right, let's get started. All right, here's our first problem. Uh, the problem states, write a complete total ionic and net ionic equations for the reaction of an aqueous sodium carbonate with an aqueous barium nitrate. Now, first of all, let me just tell you what aqueous is referring to. Aqueous means in water. So basically what they're saying is these things, uh, meaning sodium carbonate and barium nitrate, when they go into water, they form ions, positive and negative things just floating around the solution. Now, sometimes once those things start floating around the solution, they will go to different positives and negatives and sometimes form a precipitant, which is a solid. They'll form a solid product and the other ones, well, they'll still stay in ions. But we need to figure out what those are. And that's what our solubility rules are for, to help us determine which ones are uh, going to be soluble, which one's going to be insoluble. Okay. Now, this combines a lot of old techniques that you learned in the past of how to name ionic compounds and how to write ionic uh, formulas. So you'll be revisiting that. Now, what I like to do is I like to tell my students to um, do your scratch work before doing anything down here. Now, what I like to do on my scratch work is the following. I like to write SW. That way, uh, this tells me and the students that this is their thinking. And I just like to see how they're thinking about this. Well, this is nice to have because what you can do is you can look at this and go, okay, I have sodium carbonate. So they can actually just write the word sodium carbonate down. Okay. And they have uh, barium nitrate. Now, all that they have to do now is this. For their products, now I'm just writing words down. I'm just writing what's known as a word equation down. All that I have to do now is take the first word, which is a metal, and put it with a different second word. Well, that's the second word it's with now, carbonate. So I'm going to take sodium and I'm going to put it with nitrate. So over here I'm going to write sodium nitrate. Okay, and on the other one, I'm going to take barium. And I'm going to put it with a different second word. The second word here is barium nitrate. Nitrate is the second word. So I want to take barium and put it with carbonate. Now this word equation helps because it helps me to get my thoughts together how to write my ions down. Now, to get my ions down, this is also part of my scratch work. Okay, to get my ions down, I know that sodium is Na plus 1 is an ion. Okay, so that's one of my ions. Now, my next ion is carbonate. Now, carbonate, notice it ends in A-T-E. It'll be on the back of your periodic table sheet, which, like I said, you can get off my website, or if you were in my class, you've got one of these. But down here is carbonate, and once you find it, you'll notice that carbonate is CO3, negative 2. Now, remember, if it ends in A-T-E, I-T-E, or any other ending other than I-D-E, it comes off of the back of that white sheet, that back of that periodic table. So there's those two. Now, over here, uh, barium is BA, and if you look, barium is in column number two. Okay, so it gets a plus two. All metals get positive charges. And nitrate, and if you look on the back of the uh, white sheet, you'll see that nitrate is NO3 negative one. Now, all you have to do is pretty much look at this and write those down too, but you've got them right here. Take sodium, which is Na plus one, and put it with NO3 negative 1. Now this is just your scratch work, so you can get your thoughts together, like I said. This isn't something that the teacher would grade. So you've got sodium nitrate, and now you need to put barium with carbonate. Okay, So that's Ba plus 2, and now this is CO3 negative 2. Now once you get all this scratch work written down, you're ready to start with the complete. All you do is you bring these things down just like you have in the past. Okay, now once you do that, you'll get the followings. Okay, this will be uh, Na2CO3. Notice the 2 comes down here. It's there now. Notice that this 1 comes down behind the 3. So we're done with that one. Plus, and we get barium nitrate. So that'll be Ba, parentheses, NO3, close parentheses, 2. Notice that the 2 comes down behind the NO3. Notice that the 1 goes down behind the BA, but we don't write 1s. And we get, uh, notice that these numbers are the same other than being positive and negative. If the, if the digits match, 1 and 1, you don't write them. Plus, you never even write 1s. 
So this is NaNO3. Now on this one, notice that, ignore the positive and negative, notice that the 2 and the 2 match, so you don't write them. So it's just BaCl3. Now there's one more thing that we need to do. Well, there's actually two more things we need to do. But the first one, we need to try to figure out which of these two things are insoluble. And you need your solubility rules. Now if you look right here on rule number three, it says nitrates are all soluble. So all nitrates are soluble. So this is soluble. So it's still going to break down into a aqueous parts, meaning ions. Notice here this carbonate, CO3. Notice that carbonates, which is rule number five, carbonates are insoluble unless they uh, contain NH4 or they come from column number one, which is group 1A. And that doesn't apply here because BA is in column two. So this is our solid. Now after that, you need to make sure to balance the equation. Now, uh, I had chemistry teachers in the past that would yell at me if I didn't write AQ, AQ, and AQ, but I tell my students that if they don't write AQ, then I'm understanding that any time that they leave something off of it, that it's aqueous. Okay, that way we just save room and stuff on our on our papers, and they don't make careless mistakes. So anyway, uh, this is aqueous, 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 and this is a solid because it's insoluble. Let's balance it. Two Na's, one Na. We need a two here. One Cl3, one Cl3 balanced. One Ba, one Ba balanced. Two Na3s, two Na3s. We're balanced. Now, here's what's funny. After you get this balance, <laughs> we're going to write the total ionic equation, which looks very similar to what we've got up here. Okay, our total ionic will be, this time you're going to write, I have two Na plus ones because of this two. I've got two Na's plus ones. And I've got one CO3 negative two. See, if you look back at your scratch work, you've already got this written down up here. And remember, some chemistry teachers want you to write aqueous, aqueous here. Plus, now we've got one BA, so you just write down BA plus two plus, now here you've got two NO3, so that's two nitrates, two NO3. What's the charge? Negative one, because you've got it up here on your scratch work. See, that's why I love scratch work, because you can always look back at it to get, to get your answer to help you out. Now remember, this nitrate is soluble, so you still need to break it down. So this breaks down into uh, Na plus 1. Oops, I almost forgot to tell you. Look at the big 2 in front of the Na. So that's 2 Na plus 1s. That's also 2 NO3. So that's plus 2 NO3s. And that's charge of negative 1. Now on the solid, here's what's nice. On the total ionic, if it's a solid, meaning it's a precipitant, don't break it apart. Just write it back down. So that's BaCl3 solid. Now, we're almost done. We're almost ready for the uh, net ionic. In the net ionic, you need to make sure not to write down spectator ions. What are spectator ions? Well, spectator ions are those that do not contribute to the overall reaction. Okay, meaning they're still in ions on the product side. So we mark out this one, we mark out this one. If you mark it out on the right side, which is the product side, you got to come over here and mark it out. So I'll mark out the NO3 here, and I'll mark out the Na. And finally, what's left behind is my net ionic. So notice that you have this thing left over, Cl3 minus 2 aqueous plus this Ba plus 2 yielding this solid over here. Now technically this is correct, but it looks really weird because it, these are out of order. So I always tell my kids to clean these up. So you should have Ba uh, plus 2 plus CO3 negative 2 yielding BaCO3 solid. And that is your net ionic equation. So you're done with that one. And if you wanted to make sure to list the spectator ions correctly, because uh, I love asking that question because it's so easy, you just write down Na plus 1 because you marked it out up here, and you write down NO3 negative 1 because you marked it out over here as well. Now, that's how you do ionic, net ionic, and complete equations. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and just watch it a few times, and that's it, guys.